Hi everyone. In this video, I want to show you how I grew lettuce in my kitchen from seed to harvest in just five weeks. Here you can see my harvest, beautiful, healthy, fresh lettuce for my salad. I'm very excited to eat these. Let me show you how I grew these from seed. I started with this packet of seeds I ordered from Amazon, Butter Crunch Lettuce Seeds. These cost me about $5 for 500 seeds. I'm going to grow this lettuce hydroponically, that means in water instead of in soil. To get started, I plant these seeds in cubes of rock wool. I got these on Amazon as well. The rock wool is used in hydroponics as a grow media instead of soil. It is actually made from molten rock that is spun into cotton candy-like fibers and then compressed into the cubes you see here. These cubes need to be soaked in water first before planting the seeds into them. I have here a clear storage container that I filled with water. The rock wool I'm using for the lettuce are one inch cubes. I'm going to soak 10 of them to get the lettuce seed started. Here I have them all soaked and lined up ready for the seeds. Okay, let's open the packet of seeds. There are 500 in here. I decide since there's so many seeds I'm going to put two or three per hole just in case they don't all germinate. It turns out that all the seeds germinated, so in the future I plan to put only one seed per cube so that I don't have to trim out the extra seedlings. Here on my finger you can see how small the seeds are, but they are still big enough to handle easily. So I drop two to three seeds in each hole with the intention of thinning out any extra seedlings that might grow and only leaving one healthy plant per cube. Now I have all the seeds in each of the 10 cubes and they are sitting in some water to keep them moist. Some people test the pH of the water, I didn't find that necessary. Although I have a test kit, it's too much of a bother and the seeds seem to do fine with my tap water. Lettuce likes water that is a pH of between 6.0 and 6.5. If you find your plants are not growing as expected, then you should probably check the pH of your water and adjust it if it is not in the proper range. So now I have two or three seeds per cube and enough water in the container to make sure the rock will stays moist. Now I put a lid on the container, it's a clear lid, so it will act as a humidity dome to keep the moisture and the heat in, sort of like a mini greenhouse. I keep the container next to a bay window that is facing southwest, where it should get enough sun. Okay, today is Friday. I planted these on Tuesday and you can see the seeds have germinated and I have some little seedlings coming up. I move the container so that it is under the grow lights from my arrow garden and also near the bay window so plenty of light is reaching the lettuce plants. You can see they are in a very humid, moist environment. The lid on this container has quite a bit of condensation forming. Let's take the lid off and have a closer look. We can see that more than one plant is starting to grow in each cube, so next time I plant from this packet I'm going to drop only one seed in each hole since these are fresh seeds and they have a high germination rate. I must have dropped some seeds in the water since there are some sprouts growing in the container outside of the Rockwell cubes. I don't know why, but I decided to pick up some of these out of the water and put them back into the Rockwell cubes. I guess I don't like wasting. Today is Tuesday, one week since I planted the seeds. The seedlings are growing beautifully. It looks like one of them fell out. I'm not going to transfer these to the mason jars until I see roots coming out from the bottom. Let's take a look at one of these and if we look at the bottom we can see that there are no roots coming out. There are also no true leaves growing yet. The leaves we see here are the first set of leaves that all seedlings put out and usually are shaped like the seed they come from. But the second set of leaves are shaped the way the leaves on the plant will be and that's why they're called true leaves. I think it's a good idea to wait until that second set of true leaves appears and when there are some roots coming out of the Rockwell cubes before transplanting these seedlings. It looks like I'm going to have to do some thinning since we really want only one healthy plant per cube. Next time I plant these I'm only going to put one seed in each cube since it looks like these seeds all germinated. If you have older seeds, they might not all germinate, and then you should put two to three in each cube, just to make sure you have at least one plant coming or germinating out of each cube. Okay, now the seedlings are about 12 days old, and they have roots coming out from the bottom and have developed a second set of leaves, so they are ready for transplanting. I have my glass mason jars set up here with net cups in each of them, all ready for the plants. 
These are the bigger quart jars with wide mouths and I, I am using three inch net cups. I'll use these and also here I have some smaller ones with two inch net cups. For lettuce you don't need the larger jars since the roots are not as extensive as say a tomato plant. So the reservoir for the lettuce plant doesn't have to be as big as for the tomato plant or a cucumber plant. I used the combination of the two sizes since that is what I had on hand. As you can see here, the two inch cup falls into the wide mouth of the smaller mason jar. So you need to use the screw on top. And once you put that on, the two inch net cup fits into the hole perfectly. The three inch net cups fit into the wide mouth perfectly with no need to screw the top on. I have here some hydroponic solution I've already mixed up. This is called Grow Big from Fox Farms. It's really easy to mix up. Just put two teaspoons into a gallon container. I use my old milk containers, shake it up, and it's good to go. I also mixed up some Master Blend formula, which is a little more complicated because it has three components to mix together. But I wanted to compare the two to see if one yielded more lettuce than the other. For the lettuce plants, I found there was no difference between the two solutions. So now I prefer to use the Grow Big formula for my lettuce plants. Okay, once you have mixed the hydroponic solution, you can go ahead and pour one into each of the mason jars. So here I am pouring just until the bottom of the net cups, not to the top of the jar. You want to keep the rock wool wet so it needs to contact the water and the roots need to reach down into the water as well but the plant roots also need oxygen so you need to have a gap for the plant to grow what are called air roots so that they can take in oxygen along with the water and the nutrients in the water. So once all the jars are filled with water I take each plant and place it into the net cups. The rock wool doesn't fill up the entire space of the net cup so I use hydroponic clay pebbles to fill in the space around the rock wool. These clay pebbles are made as a grow media specifically for hydroponics. You can find them on Amazon. They help fill in the gaps around the rock wool and they also help to block out the light coming from the top of the net cups into the water. The reason we want to block out the light is because we don't want algae growing in the water. That's also the reason I cover the mason jars with paper to block out the light. I do this one cube at a time. Some of my Rockwell cubes have more than one lettuce seedling growing in them, so now is the time to thin them out. I thin them here by pulling out the less healthy looking plants and leaving the bigger healthier ones, but really that's not the best way to thin the plants. As I pull out the plants to thin them, the roots tug at each other since they're tangled together. This can result in damage to the roots of the healthy plant. The better way to thin the seedlings is to just take a pair of scissors and cut the plant we don't want and take it away, but leave the roots in place. I'm careful enough when I thin out these plants so I don't damage the roots, and I also wanted to take the thinned out plants and replant those as well. But the next time, I'm just going to use a scissor. Now I place the thinned out cube into a net cup and fill around it with hydroponic clay pebbles and I continue with this procedure for the rest of the plants. I line up all my mason jars and planters to keep them stable on my shelves. These are LED lights I got from Amazon. They are rated 6500 Kelvin, which is a part of the color spectrum that the lettuce likes. Okay, here you can see I covered all the jars with paper to keep the light out of the water and to prevent algae from growing. The seedlings are still only about 15 days old at this point, but they look healthy. Here you can see the two seedlings that I thinned out, and I had planted them originally in water in solo cups, but now I put soil in the solo cups instead of using the hydroponic method. In the end, these grew, but they didn't grow as quickly and as robustly as the plants that I grew hydroponically. I'm curious to see what the roots look like on these plants. Let's take the paper sleeve off. I don't see any roots. We'll check again in a couple of days. All right, here we are at day 20, and we can see some nice growth on the lettuce plants. Let's take a look at the roots, and we can see they are really growing. Okay, now it is day 28. We are at four weeks, and the leaves are really getting much bigger now. Let's take a look at the roots, 
you can see really nice healthy looking roots and they are nice and white there isn't any algae growing that I can see what is interesting is that as I compare the smaller mason jars to the bigger ones it looks to me like the plants in the 32 ounce jars are growing much bigger than the plants in the 16 ounce jars I don't know if that's just random or if they are growing better because there is more room for the roots to grow okay it is week five and I'm ready to harvest my crop of lettuce you can see the plants have grown a bit more the leaves look beautiful tender and ready to eat when I lift the plant out of the water you can see the roots still look nice and healthy and they have consumed most of the water in the jars you can use a scissor or a knife to harvest but I'm plucking each leaf one at a time off the plants by hand and I'm getting a lot of enjoyment doing this each leaf is just so beautiful I can't wait to put this into my salad I tasted one of the leaves it has a very mild flavor and a very tender texture this is remember the butter crunch lettuce here you can see the remains after I harvested my crop there's not much left but I'm gonna leave some of these to grow back you can grow lettuce back again and again up to three times before the leaves start to turn bitter okay here we are just a week later and you can see more leaves are growing on these plants it's interesting that the new leaves are coming in faster than the original leaves the plant took five weeks to grow to its maturity and after harvesting them these leaves just took a week to come back I also changed out my grow lights I now have four fluorescent bulbs instead of the two grow lamps these are also 6500 Kelvin which is more of a blue light than a red light on the color spectrum I'm gonna leave these plants for another week to see how much they grow back okay here we are at week seven two weeks ago at week five I harvested this lettuce and left only a few leaves on each plant and now just two weeks later they've grown back very nicely and I was surprised that it only took two weeks for them to grow back this one is in soil and it did not grow back but the ones I'm growing hydroponically came back very nicely look at these big leaves I think they are bigger than they were two weeks ago when I harvested them the first time it's amazing to me how beautifully they've come back after the first harvest and in just two weeks this is really amazing the leaves feel a little less tender than the first harvest they feel a little thicker and a little more ruffled not as soft as the leaves from the first harvest which were much smoother and more tender they say that each time the leaves come back they are a little more bitter and that after three harvests they are too bitter to use let's go ahead and harvest these for the second time I have a glass bowl prepared to put the leaves in and I will not wash them until I'm ready to use them in a salad if you wash them and then store them wet they can rot more quickly they will stay much fresher for a longer period of time if you just store them dry in either a glass bowl like this or in a plastic bag you can use the plastic produce bags you get when you buy your vegetables at the supermarket I am harvesting these by hand one leaf at a time mostly because I am really literally enjoying the fruits of my labor let's taste one of these leaves it tastes really good it's not bitter it is not as tender texturally as the first harvest but it is definitely delicious and a little more crunchy than the first leaves I harvested two weeks ago let's have a look at the roots on this plant they are not as pristine and as white as they were two weeks ago but they're still alive and healthy looking and drinking the water from the reservoir in the mason jar let's take a look at this next head of lettuce it's a beautiful head of lettuce it also has a nice long healthy root system after I remove the sleeve we can see the water level is pretty low so the plant has been drinking up the nutrients in the water okay let's go ahead and harvest the leaves from this plant and the remaining plants this plant is in one of the smaller mason jars you can see the water level is a bit low and the outer leaves are wilted a bit so I'm not going to use these outer leaves but the inner leaves look nice and healthy and so I'm going to harvest those here is another one of the smaller mason jars again the outer leaves are droopy and even a little brown it could be they didn't get enough water 
For some reason, this only happened to the plants in the smaller jars. The plants in the larger jars had much healthier looking leaves. My smaller jars are 16 ounce jars. The, the bigger jars are 32 ounces. So I am tearing off the outer leaves and I'm not using those. And then we'll leave the rest of the plant to regrow. So here we have a nice second harvest from my lettuce plants and I'm going to leave the plants to regrow for a third harvest. In the meantime, I did start some more plants. Here you can see the seedlings start to grow. I am growing the butter crunch again, but I'm also growing two other varieties. These are from burpee seeds. I have green ice and I have black seeded Simpson lettuce. So here are my plants after the second harvest. I left one plant mostly intact, but the rest of these I took almost all the leaves off. I'm going to leave them under the lights and see how much of it grows back for the third harvest. In the meantime, I have my second harvest here, a nice bowl of fresh lettuce, and I'm going to go make myself a salad. I hope you enjoyed this video. Bye for now.